Welcome to Dell Technologies Connectrix Brocade B Series and Connectrix Cisco MDS How To Series. How to restart services on Brocade CMC and E, SandNav, and Cisco DCNM management tools. Reference Knowledge Article 181607. To demonstrate how to restart services on Brocade CMC and E, SandNav, and Cisco DCNM management tools. On the occasion when the Brocade CMC and E, SandNav, or Cisco DCNM service is not responding to the GUI, the GUI fails to launch, a service will not start, or is in an uncontrolled state. We can attempt to restart the services to get it under control. Before you begin, make sure the application is closed prior to restarting the services. Take a moment to review the processes to restart the services on a brocade CMC and E, SandNav, and Cisco DCNM management tools. The following video demonstrates how to restart services on a brocade CMC and E management tool. Before you go ahead, please ensure CMC and E client application is closed. The first option to restart the services of CMC and E is via Service Management Console. Launch the Service Management Console on the server where the CMC and E is installed. Wait for the SMC to be launched. Once the SMC is launched, click on the Restart button. This will restart all the services on CMC and E. Verify if all the services are up. Close the Service Management Console. The second option is to restart the services via Windows Services application. Click on the Start button on your Windows machine. Launch the Windows Services application. Select the Connectrix Manager Converged Network Edition. Click on the Restart button to restart the CMC and E server. The services has now been successfully restarted. Select the Connectrix Manager Converged Network Edition database in order to restart the CMC and E database. Restarting the database will also restart the CMC and E server. The database has now been successfully restarted. The third option is to restart the services v command line interface. Copy the location of the CMC and E install directory. Launch the Windows command prompt. Change directory to the CMC and E install directory then into directory bin. Run the command service DCMSVC status to check CMC and E application service status. The CMC and E application service is up and running. Whenever CMC and E application is running, the database runs in the background. Run the command dbsvc status to check if the database is running properly in the background. The database is up and running. Run the command service dcmsvc stop command to stop the services. The services has now been stopped. Run the command service dcmsvc start command to start the services. The services has now been started. Run the command service DCMSVC status to check CMC and E application service status. Once the services has been restarted you can go ahead and launch the CMC and E client to verify its functioning.
The following video demonstrates how to restart services on a Brocade SAN nav management tool. We can restart, stop, and start the SAN nav management portal in SAN nav global view servers by running the scripts developed by the SAN nav developers. Launch the PuTTY session for the SAN nav server. Change the directory to root. Change the directory to SAN nav. List the contents of the directory. Change the directory to portal. List the contents of the directory. Change the directory to bin. List the contents of the directory. Run the script restart server.sh to restart the SAN nav services. The services has now been restarted. Next run the ls command to list the files under the directory bin. Change the directory to diag. Run the script check server status.sh to check the server health status. If any service is found down, while checking the server health status, it will be automatically started by system monitor within 20 minutes. The following video demonstrates how to restart services on a Cisco DCNM management tool. Before you go ahead, please ensure DCNM application is closed. The first option to restart the services of DCNM is by running the scripts which will be located in the DCNM install directory. Launch the directory under which the DCNM server is installed. Get into the program files, Cisco Systems, DCM, DCNM and BIN. Run the script stop SAN server to stop the services. The services has now been stopped. Run the script start SAN server to start the services. The services has now been started. Alternatively, you can search Stop DCNM Server from the Windows Start button, however, the location of shortcuts depends upon the choices you made when you installed the DCNM SAN Server. Similarly you can start the DCNM SAN Server. The second option to restart the services of DCNM is via Windows Services. Click on the Start button on your Windows machine. Launch the Windows Services application. Select the Cisco DCNM SAN server. Click on the Restart button to restart the DCNM server. The services has now been successfully restarted. Select DCNM SAN Insight Post Processor to restart DCNM SAN Insight. This would be useful when come across issues on SAN Analytics and Telemetry. You can either select the PostgreSQL database or Oracle database, based on your installation, if you would like to restart the Cisco DCNM database. Similarly select the Elasticsearch database if you would like to restart the Elasticsearch database. For any performance manager stats collector issues, you can consider restarting the Elasticsearch service. 
The third option to restart the services of DCNM is via command line interface. Launch the command prompt on the Windows machine where the DCNM server is installed. Run the command net stop FM server to stop the services. The services has now been stopped. Run the command net start FM server to start the services. The services has now been started. Once the services has been restarted you can go ahead and launch the DCNM application to verify its functioning. Please refer to the following online resources. Thank you for watching.